Hello my friends, welcome back. I'm Leo. Today what we're going to be doing is doing some water droplet photography. An easy way what everybody can do because I'm going to be using some cotton, a syringe, a torch, a little third hand tool but if you haven't got one, you haven't got one, some bingo clips and I'm going to show you is how to get a nice picture of a water droplet or droplets a simple way that you can add water reflection to or anything after as you know I've got my backgrounds which I'll be on the back because I won't be using no lights on this one I'm just going to do it with the use of a torch uh, today I'll be using my Canon 750D along with my macro uh, Tamron 90 lens and uh, Beltrox extension tube. This one is a 36 millimeter. So nothing that technical really on the on the way. So let's get on with it. Okay, there's a couple of ways we could start with this. Doing this, what you want to do is get two pieces of cotton or three pieces of cotton them off to what I need, cut them, obviously using scissors but I didn't bring them, and all to do, then if you look at the cotton now it's all got little bits of threads hanging off which is absolutely perfect for what I'm going to be doing, right, what I'll do, join the two ends together, yeah, you don't really go knot them, I'll just knot them for the sake of but knotting them. And what I've done is I've got some bingo clips I got off Amazon. And then what I'm going to do is just attach the cotton to the clips with the blue tack get a bit of a twist the twist is just to give the effect and keep it nice and taut and what we're going to do then is gently Now what I want is, if you want it, you ain't got to have it perfect, you haven't got to have it But what I like to do is, I'll pull it tight. The whole idea of this is, that you get it tight now, so you can get your water drops, and finally put them on. Now if I was doing, if I was doing fracture photography, where you get the, you know, you can see your image in the water thing, what I'd do is get a, a bit of flour, I'll put my clock up, put it in, put my water drop on it, then I'll move this and handle it until it's fairly close and then I'll set the camera up, look through it and try and get, move it around until I get the reflection perfect in it. But today I won't be doing on that. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is using some of my backgrounds instead. Now I'm only using this, this clip today because it's just easy to, to move about, as you can see. So there you go. Now for the important part. Let's get a bit of water onto you. We're at the stage now where we can actually add our water droplets. Now what I use is, like I say, my syringe. And I'm gently going to try and get it on the stick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There you go, one, two, three. So as you can see, I've got more water droplets on now. So now it's time to get down to the action. Oh. 
Okay, let's get back to the live view of the camera. As you can see, all up there is a black dot, not the best, and it's in something we want. So, with the help of the torch, the flashlight, the little flashlight, here we go. As I bring it over the top, you can see it coming to light. Yeah? You got it? So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the flash torch over, and then we're going to add a background as well as it goes off. We're going to add a background with a torch. And there you go. As you can see, we're coming up. So there you go, a lovely picture. So what you've got to do, hit your shutter release, and you've got the picture. Like I say, move it out the way, you get lighter, brighter, darker. You can do it lots of ways. But you can see my, you can see my uh, 14 F8 ISO 100, so it's still getting a nice picture. The only thing is, you will get, unless I soften the end of the, the, the torch, you're, most, you're always going to get that bit of that bit of that bit of noise in your picture, you get that light, which is really nothing else you really can do. There you go, let's try another background, black. Add in the torch, here we come. There you go. See? You get what you want. Now, there is another method I'm going to quickly show you to make it a little bit more nice. That's from the spray bottle. What I'm going to do, I'm get my spray bottle and pump a few. Spray it up there. It's obviously trying to do it. Then with all the little fibres hanging off on your water droplet. Yeah? With all the little fibres hanging around your water droplets. This is even going to change the picture even more. There you go. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard really, just a bit of cotton, a couple pieces of cotton, flash torch, Poundland, cheap, one pound, little LED flash torch, brilliant. Backgrounds, like I say, these are the ones I'm, I'm trialling myself, that I will be putting up, maybe for sale, just to fund my channel a bit more. A syringe, just to get it on, just to get your water drops, what I will say is that you best to start off get a tiny one and just keep adding to the water drops because they evaporate and like I said with all the fine fibres give it a spray and you'll see the bubbles up you'll see the bubbles up which gives it a better effect but like I say low lighting brilliant torch get it on backgrounds whatever you want you're seeing in the picture one minute the picture's black, next minute when you're putting when you're putting the actual picture over and the flash torch over, over it, it actually brightens it all right the way up. And that's how I do my pictures without a flash, which some might think it's some people might think you know that you might have different ideas or whatever. Everybody's to their own choice. Like I say, Canon 750D. Tamron 90mm lens with a 37mm extension is really all I needed to do. Uh, let me get back onto that. I was at 1 4th, as you can see, F8, ISO 100. That's it, ideal, simple. You can mess around with, if you want to, but more depth, you can mess around with your F stops and whatever. It's important, really, though, you have either trigger release or you do a two second timer 
so you can do not touch the camera or use the mirror lockup. You know, mine was I'm on a concrete floor sort of thing, so it's, I got it more stable, so I don't need it. But mirror lockup is ideal because all it is is you get it ready, you get where you want, two second timer, done, finished. But like I say, I use a, a trigger release and it that helps me out. I hope you've enjoyed today. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe, please like, share with your friends, put on to your, on your uh, share it with on your Facebook or. Do you know, get, give me a bit, uh, like I say, I promise you I'll do a low light one and this is pretty simple really, a couple of everybody's got bits of cotton lying about in the house, so I thought it'd be an ideal one. Until next time my friends, have a good one, happy snapping, bye.